Hey guys, CapCut just released their new AI tool. It's called Script to Video. It can generate videos in literally one minute. So I want to show you how it works. So this is the CapCut desktop version. If you don't have it, go ahead and download it. It is totally free. And you're going to go ahead and click on Script to Video. When we click on that, we will be giving a box where you can enter in your script. So if you go over to ChatGPT, you can get a script from there and you can bring it over here and enter it in right here or you can go ahead and use their own ai writer that is built in so if you want to do that you're going to go ahead and click right here where it says ai writer once we click that we're given two options it's either talking script or ad script so obviously ad script is going to be if you're making an ad for like facebook or instagram but if you want to make something like a youtube video or a youtube shorts Go ahead and click talking script and after that you're just going to type in something that you want to make a video on so we can just go ahead and say make me a script on the fastest animal in the world i'm not gonna lie that's pretty lame but that's all i can think of off the top of my head right now since this tool is brand new and i just want to show you guys how it works okay so there we go we entered it in and we now have a script hey there today i want to talk to you about one of the fastest animals in the world the cheetah and etc etc it's gone on to write a short script for us so if you want the script longer I would recommend going over to ChatGPT and getting your script from there and just pasting it in because from what I've seen, it seems to write a fairly short script. Now, if you click next right here, you can get a different option. So say you read through this and you don't like how it sounds or you don't like what they're saying, go ahead and click next and it will give you a different option for a script. Okay, so once you find the script that you want, you're gonna click right here on the okay button now it has entered in the script for you and on this tab right here you can choose a voice that you want to use so if you click on the little headphone icon it will preview the voice for you okay so you can go through if you see this pro tab next to a name of a person that means that this is only for cap cut paid version so if you're paying monthly you can use these pro voices if not go ahead and click on one of the voices that doesn't have that pro tab next to it so for this tutorial we're just going to go ahead and use that one so we'll use charming mail once you choose your voice that you want to use go ahead and click generate okay you're now given two options it says smart generation where you're going to generate a video with materials from cap cut so they're going to provide all the material for the video or for local materials means that you're going to generate a video with clips or photos that are on your computer. Then go ahead and click smart generation and let CapCut do all the work. OK, so I click generate. Now I want to see how long it's going to take CapCut to create this video. And I did not just speed that up right there. That was real time. So it just jumped from like 2% to 80% really quickly. So it looks like about one minute and it's already created the video. So here is the video. As you can see, it has provided us with automatic captions. It also has provided us with the video clips. But as you can see, when I go ahead and play this, these are pictures instead of video clips. So unfortunately it didn't provide us with video clips it has created one one long video that is um let's see a minute and 44 seconds long it's given us photos compiled into a video it's given us the voiceover which is on this track right here and it's also given us the background music which is on this last trick and it's also given us the background music, which is on this last track down here. So if you go ahead and press the play button, we can preview this and see what it sounds like. If you don't like the background track, you can click it, right click it, and you can choose to delete it. Or maybe you think it's too loud. Go ahead and grab that volume slider right there and either. And also right here above it is the voiceover track. So what I recommend doing is clicking and dragging all the way down. So you selected all the short clips for the voiceover and then you're going to right click 
and you're going to choose create compound clip okay and what that's going to do is just merge all those clips into one clip so once you get the volume levels to where you want if you want to change the background music like i said you're just going to right click that click delete okay and when you delete that you're going to go up to this audio tab and right here you can just search for anything now i'm just going to leave this background track for now because it's just a simple tutorial and i don't feel like changing that right now but that's how you would do it if you wanted to change it and then you would just drag in whichever song you find or whichever background track but what you can do is try and add in some background sound effects so if i just type in jungle effects okay maybe that will make it a little bit more realistic if i add in a jungle sound effect okay so once i previewed that i have found a rainforest type of sound effects so i'm just going to add that in and then i'm going to drag this last slider all the way over till it lines up with the end of the video and there you go now we have some rainforest sounds throughout the video now what we can also do is edit the captions so if you go and click on one of these first captions as you can see right here on this box it says apply to all so make sure that's checked if you want to have the same style throughout the entire video for your captions okay and then you can go up and click on animation and another thing is if you want the animation for every caption just go ahead and click and drag until you've selected all of your captions okay and then go back to animation and then we're going to go to flipping and we'll click on that and we'll change the duration to two seconds and there you go so now the captions are animated instead of just being still and one more thing that i want to show you guys just to improve the quality of this video is go ahead and add some effects since these are just still images they might get a little boring so you want to add in something such as like a zoom or maybe a play pendulum this is a good one for still images because it can give them a little bit of motion so if i just drag this effect down and i just show you right away so that's a way to turn a still image into having a little bit of motion when i use this i like to turn it down so i bring down the twist the strength and the speed down a lot and now play it again so just adding that one effect that gives it a little bit of motion will help these videos out a lot and become more engaging now as you can see we could add something like this color film and that's going to just make your video really pop and it'll make it that much better. So let's go ahead and add that on there. Now let's see how that looks. So that's a really quick way of improving your video. And you could just go through and add some more effects to all these clips. And in a matter of a couple of minutes, you'll have a completely totally done video that would have taken a long time if you were to do all of this manually. So this tool is gonna save you so much time and I really recommend it because CapCut has just so many good effects that are free. And yeah, that's a quick way to make a video with CapCut's new AI tool script to video. And just see what you can come up with, guys. All right, so let me know in the comments down below if you guys are gonna be using this tool and make sure that you also check out this video right here where I show you Ideagram. This is the tool that is free and that is killing mid-journey right now. And also make sure you subscribe to the channel because I show you new free AI tools every single day, guys. So subscribe to the channel. Support the channel. I appreciate it, you guys. All right. I'll see you on this next video right here. So click this one.